Hey YouTube, Peterbilt Knife Guy. So, I have been doing, uh, I did a hard use test on this, whatever, Milwaukee Tradesman's Knife yesterday. And I have a short that's blowing up right now. And it has been for the last couple days. But the number one comment was, is this knife this sharp out of the box? The number two comment was, get a Mora. Get a Mora instead, because, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know what world you're living in, but Mora hasn't been $15 for a long freaking time. And you can't just go down to your local Ace Hardware and buy a Mora, typically, or Home Depot or Lowe's. But in honor of these dingbats that make these stupid comments, because, you know, uh, they ain't got anything else better to do. Let's do a hard use test on this. This here is a Mora, what is it? The Mora Niven Pro S. I believe it's a stainless model. Yep, stainless steel. And that's fair because this guy's stainless steel. And what's funny is this one I just recently bought for $15. I bought this one years ago for like $15. They're not $15 anymore. I'll put the current price in right here. But anyways, let's honor these people. Let's see if a Mora stainless, let's just do some comparisons first. First off, I know Mora's come in all different shapes and sizes and this just happens to be the one that I chose that I'm gonna beat the crap out of. But let's, let's compare. That's a lot less knife. That's a lot less steel. It's a lot less blade length. It's a lot less cutting edge. That's a lot less handle. But hey, if you guys want to see it, I'll do it. Um, let's get the Stump of Truth set up. We'll start beating the crap out of this thing. Okay. Stump of Truth. Mora knife. Sharpness test. I know this one's sharp because I did it myself. Very sharp. Mora's get very, very sharp. Very sharp. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 there you go. Look at that. I'm a thrower. Uh, let's do the uh, the scabby be all day drop it test. That does absolutely nothing, but people like it, so I'm gonna do it. Ooh, it drops into wood. Ooh, cool. All right, we're gonna use the same freaking piece of wood that we used yesterday for the. Uh, Milwaukee knife. Get my dog out of the way. And the same poor abused hammer. Let's get at this. So the uh, Milwaukee processed this one down from bigger. Um, so, I mean, it's got less blade length. That was a problem yesterday as I was running out of room with the freaking blade. Cause it's just not a big knife, but we're gonna have to take tiny chunks at this guy. Baton, battening. Oh. Mora, you know I like more knives. I really do. A lot of people do, but they aren't the end-all, be-all of knives. They're just good, cheap knives. And the, and honestly, the goodness comes from the fact that they used to be fifteen dollars. They used to be $10. They used to be nine freaking dollars. They were hecka cheap. So you could afford to just go out and lose one and, and nobody cares. I'm gonna beat this in off camera. You can already tell the flexibility on this handle. I, I can feel, you know, these aren't full tang, but it's already bending. Look at it bend. She's already bending. Bending a lot too. I just started this test. Can y'all see? Barely. Let's see. Did we come back to true? We did. Good job, Mora. Good job, Mora. Now I know they can take a lot of abuse. There's a lot of people who've done these tests online, but I don't know. Oh, there you go. This is why you don't buy a Mora. It's supposed to be stainless. Looks like some rust in there. 
There's your Mora hard to use test. It barely took anything compared to what that knife almost stabbed me in the leg with that one. I don't have a tip no more, but for all you people in the comments, when I was talking about this one, not on my hard use video, but mainly on my shorts that said, just go buy a Mora. This is why you don't buy a Mora. This is why you don't buy a Mora. It literally freaking broke. I've never batoned this one before. Crazy. I'm gonna pull this out. I'm gonna get another Mora and try to beat it through the same one. Okay, so we got the Mora, what was that? Mora 746. Get this knife out. Somehow. Bring it in off camera. Let's see if we do it this way. Sorry. Fumbling around here. There you go. There's your Mora, people. Stainless. Is this guy stainless? This one's stainless also. Hey, but so was the one from uh, the, the Milwaukee. God dang it, Milwaukee. How many knives do I have to sell for you? I'm going to sell some freaking knives for you. Let's see if this one can finish what that one couldn't. Let me get some glasses on because I don't want shattered knife parts in my freaking face. This is my old fishing knife. Fishing. Okay. So that one took it. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can get this one to fail. Luke, let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, we got a bender. We have a bender. She's abandoned. She is abandoned. gloves on for this? I don't know. Probably. Oh, dang, she's bending. This is nothing that I didn't do with the Milwaukee. Well, okay. And we have picked up a bin, which we did not do on the Milwaukee. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, there's a knot. This might be it, boys and girls. This might be the one. I don't even know if you can get this model anymore. I got it because it's ugly. So far, she's taking it. She's taking it. But we ain't done yet. We are not done yet. I don't want to do this one. This one even has a longer blade. But it's a thicker blade. So see if that was a benefit or not. I'm going 
you guys can see. Can you all see? Now you can see. Alright. We're at the knot. I'm gonna give it holy hill through here. Let's get it all the way in. Can you guys see? Let's move it up just a tad. Right there. Get it holy. Oh, what do you know? What do you know? She did it, but we're gonna go through the knot this way. This way, can you guys see? No. Cause I suck at YouTube. And life, but. Alright. You know what? That had to have been a fluke. I mean, it's bent. But it. It didn't take much to freaking pop this one. This tang is kind of, kind of small. All right, let's see what else, what else this one has in it. Hmm, this is a pretty brutal one right here. Can we even get in there? Probably not. Yeah, that leaves me no room for smacking. No room for smacking. Okay, let's just frickin' Let's just beat the damn thing in here. I'm already working with those freaking sweat. So maybe my model choices sucked when I picked this video. Cause this one seems to be, oh, I can feel it flexing now. Uh oh, I think this might be it. Not even on freaking camera, sorry guys. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, here we go. I ain't going easy on it. Because I did not go easy on the freaking, uh, what do you call it? Milwaukee. So far, oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it much further than that. All right, so this Mora picked up a wicked bend. Oh, it is thoroughly stuck now. Let's see if we can get it out. You can't even see it on camera, can you? I suck today, don't I? That knife is bent. Very, very bent. Let me get some gloves on because this is looking like stitches. I don't mind bumps and bruises, a few or lesions or whatever you call them, cuts. I don't want stitches. It's not for snitches. <laughs> She's in there. I pulled it out. I could say I could tell the the tank separated a little bit right there. It might not survive coming out of this. Oh frick. Yeah. Okay, let's do it like we did the last one. Stick it in there. And where's my hammer? Hammer hammer. Bang bang. I don't know. So the tang has bent. You can see that the tip of the blade is right there. It's doing like an S. It's bent this way 
through the wood. And the handle is right there. Ooh, did I get cut? Nope. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I still think if you're gonna buy a knife, this is a good option over a Mora. Mora might have a little better steel. This is still a very strong knife. Thank you for watching. Bonus footage. I couldn't get this damn knife out of here. So I'm gonna baton this guy through here. See what happens. Can we break it? I don't know. I can sweat like a freaking pig though. Safety third. Where's my other glove? Son of a bitch. There she is. Let's see if we can finish this off with the knife that everybody wants you to buy a Mora instead. Milwaukee don't pay me shit. They do not pay me nothing. I am just stating a good knife is a good knife. I don't care what it is, who it is, hell, even if it's a buck. It's a good knife, it's a good knife. Oh, wow. She's a bender. But she ain't through yet. Oh, damn it. Well. Successfully got the blade out. We got a nice bend on it. But, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to get it through because it has a, uh, just limited by handle. And all it is, all it is, is limited by handle. Yeah, or not, sorry. Limited by blade. And they're leaving me nothing to freaking split right there. Let's pull it out and see if it picked up a bin. <sighs> Looks straight to me. All right, guys. That's it for this time. Good knife.